Kent Justice in Philadelphia on the Democratic National Convention. Following roll call on this Tuesday evening where they took a voice vote and Hillary Clinton was voted to be the nominee and approved as the nominee over Bernie Sanders. Several of the Bernie Sanders supporters and many other groups decided that they would stage a bit of a demonstration or a protest. Let me show you some of those images right now. Uh, police are on guard and they are nearby. I'm looking at Pennsylvania state troopers at times, uh, local Pennsylvania police from Philadelphia and other areas. But uh, this is something where right after the vote, we saw inside the arena, there were some people who uh, came right to the aisles and started these demonstrations, saying things like, this is what democracy looks like. They're still waving some of the signs that uh, are about Bernie Sanders, a future to believe in. They've uh, got some of the signs that uh, they've crossed out some of the uh, printed words and written in things, and again, in support of Bernie Sanders. For instance, Bernie, the most good is one of the signs I see. And there are various uh, sit-ins going on with people taping their mouths shut, uh, writing some things across that tape, and others uh, standing around and holding up signs. Two different things going on here. We've got the Media Resource Center, which is where we are. We're inside of that, and uh, that is a place that is designated for media to come in and work. Some of the protesters came inside, and that's where they're staging their sit-in, and that's where police are guarding the doors uh, during this incident here. Nothing has been violent that we've seen. Uh, everything has been peaceful, but a large crowd gathered inside the media center and now outside the arena and outside the media center. Police are not letting additional protesters come into the media center, and we see maybe uh, two dozen state troopers on one end of the street here are just standing by, uh, kind of at rest, but they've got their hands on their hips sort of thing, and uh, looking for people, making sure that people uh, are staying under control. We're also looking uh, at some of the folks here. They're, they have uh, BLM, Black Lives Matters, uh, written in on some of their clothing or that sort of thing. We'll continue following this and certainly update you as we go through the evening. Uh, and throughout the day on news4jacks.com.